Welcome to video number 23 for Control Shift Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas. Hey, we're in the Workbook Array Formulas DVD book start on the sheet topics. Hey, we're going to talk about our last array function, the line ST or line est function. This is a statistical function. Let's click on the, sh the link for sheet 23. Now I've jumped to sheet 23. And last video we talked about mo.molt, which does one particular statistical calculation. The line ST for line straight calculates many statistics for best fitting data to a straight line. And it uses the least square method. Now you maybe remember something from high school algebra or college algebra where you have the slope and the intercept. And then you can create a little model. And if you have your x value, you can make a prediction. So we create the slope and the intercept, and actually a bunch of other statistics too, from raw data. Now in this video here, we're just going to kind of see how to use this function. Not going to talk about all the different statistics. But we will see how to very quickly calculate a bunch of different statistics using this line est function. Now slope and intercept, let's say we have our study. And this is for a final test. And then we have the final score that people got. So we have our study, which is going to be our independent variable. We're going to use that to predict what our final score is. So this is some actual hard data. We can, from this, create the slope and the intercept. Now, we can use individual calculations or individual functions, but line est does it all in one. All right, let's see how to do this. Now, this is an array function. And this array function does a bunch of things. Now, it can calculate a, uh, statistics for 1x. It could do multiple regression with 2 or 3 or more. It can calculate just the slope and the intercept. Or if you highlight a bunch of cells and give it the right parameter, it'll calculate a bunch of statistics all at once. Now, let's start out. Um, I want to calculate slope and intercept, and I have a single x variable, our study. Here's my hour study. So I want to know what an estimate would be for my final score in the class. All right, two cells are highlighted because we're just doing slope and intercept equals line est. I do my known y's, comma, the known x's. We just have one, right, an x, a y, and an x. These we're going to leave off because we're only calculating these two things, m and intercept. right? This is an array function, so we hold Control, Shift, and Enter. There we have, instead of using the individual slope function and intercept function to calculate those individually, we've done it in one swoop. Now we can use this. Over here, I can say equals, well, the y-intercept, that's the point at which the best fit line crosses the y-axis plus the slope. The slope is for every one unit of x. How far does y move? And y is our final test score times. So slope times our x. And there we go, 76 points we think we're going to get. If we up it and say we're going to work 10 hours, maybe we'll get 80 on the test. Now, here's the amazing part of the line straight function. This is 1x. I have a single x. If I highlight, OK, so we have 1x. So that means 1x, highlight one more column than there is x, and five rows. You enter line est, known y's, and then comma, the x's. Now, we just have a single x, so I'm going to highlight just the single x. Later, we'll see we can enter a lot more than a single x. Now, comma. And what's cool about 2010 is you used to have to go up to help and read what these are. But this is b set to equal to 0 or calculate normally. We're going to say true calculate normally. And then this one just says, do not return additional, additional regression statistics, which is the default. Or please return additional statistics, which is what I want, true. And then Control, Shift, and Enter. And just like that. Wow, that is amazing. Instead of using the Pearson function individually, or the slope, or the intercept, we can uh, quickly calculate all these statistics. All right, now let's go down and see. Well, the setup here 
is that these all of these here are always going to be returned no matter if you're doing 1, 2, 3x values, etc. And then up here, we have m, standard error for m, and intercept, which is the b, and standard error for b. But let's go down and see how the return statistics for this function vary, change, when we have two or more variables. Now, the strange thing is, is notice we have x, our x sub 1, and then our x sub 2. This is left to right. But when it, the function returns the statistics, it's going to return to m2 and then m1. All right, let's see how to do this. Now, we have two x's. Here's our final score. And here's the hour study and the homework score. So this is all from past data, right? So we're going to use past data, create some statistics, and then use them with our inputs. Well, let's say we've studied eight hours, and our homework score was 88. We want to estimate what our uh, score will be on the final. All right, so I'm using just, I just want to calculate slopes and intercept. Line S, known Y. Bloop. Known y's, comma, and then the x's. One, x sub 1 and then x sub 2, left to right. But sure enough, <laughs> the m's will be returned in reverse order. Control, Shift, and Enter. Amazing. Look at that. Now we can come over here and say, all right, our intercept plus that slope for our x1 times x1, that's homework plus our m2, slope number 2, times our x2. Now notice something. Did we, and I'm going to hit um, Enter. So we're going to say our from our past data, we've created our statistics, and we're going to estimate that we get a score of 81. But notice something. Did we just actually take two values with the same dimension times two values with the same dimension? We did. So guess what? Here we can use sum product. Now, whoops. We definitely want to make sure that the the two, the one, the two, the one are in the same order. But if they are, no problem. One array times another array. And they're in the same, uh, they have the same dimension. All right, so a score is 81. If that's not good enough, I'm saying I'm going to study 20 hours this last weekend, 10 hours on Saturday and 10 hours on Sunday. So there we go. All right, now let's do this. And we're going to get some NAs over here. Because remember, the internal, these red statistics are always going to be returned in the same place. But notice, now we have M2 standard error 2, M1 standard error 1, and then the B in the standard error. So all right, let's do this. Notice the reds here, the top of the returned value is always going to be slope or variable standard error, variable standard error, variable standard error. This, these top two can extend out the more x values you have, and then they'll just have na errors here. All right, let's see how this works. Equals line s. This is just exciting. Known wise, if you've done this longhand, this is exciting. All right, you ready? Comma down arrow tab, comma tab. All right, there we go. And then control shift and enter. Absolutely amazing. These statistics here, we'll do three variables in just a moment. Uh, always going to be returned right there. And then the, uh, the blue ones will be at the top extending out. Now, right, so we have homework scores, hours, and our y is the final. Let's go down and look at one more example. Here we have, here's the final score. Grade from prerequisite class is our third x value. Then our studied and homework scores. Whoops, that shouldn't be there. All right, x1, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3. Whoa, slope 3, slope 2, slope 1. All right, I'm going to highlight all of these equals line ST, known y's, bloop, comma, and all of the x's. 
control shift enter and there we go just like that absolutely amazing so most of uh, most people don't do statistics but for people who do statistics this is pretty lovely all right now I'm going to take the intercept plus some product and I'm making sure it's the same dimension same dimension three two one three two one even though I didn't put a three there Broop. that array times this array the close parentheses 86. Oh, you know what? I, I made a mistake. Oh, my score was not 97. It was 88. Oh, now I only get an 83. But maybe I could up this. Uh, so, one, two, three M's and an intercept. Notice we have one, two, three X variables. So we highlight one more column than there are X values and five rows. Absolutely amazing line. Line est, line st, whatever you like to call it. We have our x's, comma, down arrow, tab, comma, tab, close parentheses, control, shift, enter. And you see the pattern is these, these red statistics, coefficient of determination, f, SS regression, standard error y, degrees of freedom, and SS residual. Always going to be returned right there. The Variable and the standard error will just be extended out as far as you go with a bunch of NAs there. All right, uh, one, two last things. There's some usually some pretty good help if you click on that link there for statistical functions. They at least you know match up with the formulas you're using, uh, and there's usually some good examples, so you can. Uh, Get going, and if you really want to do Excel and statistics, Conrad Karlborg has some amazing books, Statistical Analysis for MS Excel 2010. That's really important because when in 2010, they changed a lot of things. And then this great book, Predictive Analytics for Microsoft Excel. All right, uh, video 23. The, line straight function in our last video 24 we are going to see a bunch of closing amazing array formulas all right we'll see you next video